Hi. In this video, I would like to explain the reflection in a concave mirror with a ray diagram. So what I've done is I'm bringing up the lights on the left, so the rays of light will always pass from left to right. I put an object at C, and the yellow arrows here will move as the rays of light start from the tip of the arrow, hit the mirror, turn around and reflect back. When they reflect back at different angles, the rays of light will converge and meet somewhere. Wherever the rays of light meet, there will be the image formation. We'll use this principle to gradually go through each and every point uh, where the object can be placed. So, a little bit uh, about the principal axis. So you draw a mirror and lay out a horizontal line that passes through the center of the mirror. The center point of that mirror is O. F is the focal length, uh, focal point rather, laid out at focal length from O and C is twice the focal length. So if you put a compass point at C and draw a radius with your compass, you should be able to draw the mirror. So let's bring up the lights on the left and the rays of light move from left to right. Because they are at infinity, the rays of light will always be parallel to each other and also parallel to the principal axis as you can see. And all these rays from a concave mirror will reflect back and go through the focal point F. The YC versa is also true. If you draw a line passing through F and hitting that mirror, it will go back parallel to the principal axis. So here you get an image which is a point image at F. You don't see anything, you get a heavy focus. And then you can actually burn a piece of paper using a concave mirror. Second, we take an object which is getting closer to the mirror. It's not as far as infinity, but it's beyond C. So draw the mirror, lay out the principal axis, put C, F and O, and draw an image which is a little beyond point C. So now we will take a ray which is parallel to the principal axis, and we will take a ray which passes through C as well, and a third ray which should hit the center of the mirror. So we have three rays now. You can see the green ray passing parallel to the principal axis, it should go through F and it's doing that. The orange ray hits the point O, angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection and it's going backwards. The ray through C hits the mirror at 90 degrees so it goes right back through C and you get an image that's inverted, real and diminished. Let's take another position of the object as it gets closer. Let's put the object exactly at C. So we do the same things lay out CFO and draw the object at C. By now you can guess what we are going to do. We take a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. We'll take a ray that passes and strikes the mirror at point O and we'll take a ray which passes through the point F. These are all the things that we can do with the ray diagram. So the green ray should hit the mirror and pass through F the orange ray should hit point O and reflect back as per angle of instance equal to angle of reflection and the blue ray which passed through F went parallel to the principal axis and of course you get an image which is also at C, it's inverted, it's real and it's of the same size as the object. Always you talk about three things for an image. The next will bring the object a little more closer between C and F and see what happens. So draw an arrow somewhere in between C and F and do the same thing that we did earlier. By now it's getting routine I hope and uh, you'll be able to do this yourself. So the green ray parallel to the principal axis should go through F, the orange ray reflects equally, the blue ray goes through F and goes parallel to the principal axis and they are meeting there and you have get an image which is real, which is inverted and enlarged. That's all there is to it. Next, we'll take uh, an object getting even closer. So let's put it exactly on the focal point F. Now, because the, the light source is on the left, you cannot have rays passing backwards to C, but certainly you can have rays going forward, rightwards from the point F. So the blue ray here should not confuse you. It strikes the mirror at 90 degrees and reflects right back and is going back through C as you can see. 
and all the other rays are also doing their normal job so you can see the rays are parallel to each other so there is no image formation in this case parallel rays never meet the last position is that the object is so close that it's between F and O it's very close to the mirror it can't get any closer so draw CFO and plug in the same arrow between the point F and point O now here again we could have a ray of light which goes forward, hits the mirror and traces its way back towards C. So do the same thing, one ray parallel to the principal axis, one ray hitting the point O and one ray hitting the mirror at 90 degrees incident. All the rays are doing their job, the green ray is passing through F, uh, the ray which hit O is reflecting, angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection, the blue ray hit the mirror at 90 degrees, went back to C. But you can see they're all diverging on the left hand side. So all you have to do is to make them converge somewhere. So we can draw dotted lines because these are rays of light and you will get an image on the other side of the mirror which therefore is a virtual image because it's formed by dotted lines. It's erect, it's virtual and it's enlarged. That's all there is to drawing a ray diagram for a concave mirror and I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.